Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Mike Thompson and I'm Amy DuPont. It has been a little more than a month since members of La Crosse's homeless population moved into the Econa Lodge on the city's north side. The city contracted with the hotel to give the homeless a warm place to stay this winter. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen joins us in the studio with a look at how this transition is going. People who were living in Huska Park moved to the hotel in mid-November. There are 100 people living in the Econa Lodge right now, and its leaders are hopeful it can be more than just a winter shelter. Something many of us take for granted is a place to call home. Home is where you make it. No. This winter, the Econa Lodge is giving Kevin Stewart that chance. When he came in here, he immediately started caring for people here. He cleans. That's what he likes to do to keep busy and feel good about himself. It's also a shelter in an unforgiving winter. It's been a couple winters out there and it's been pretty cold, pretty miserable. This is quite a blessing. And it gives his fellow guests a chance to breathe. It's stabilized and given people, you know, that consistent place to go where they know every night where they can lay their head down, you know, they know where they can be during the day. It's also helping them look into options. It's hard to be here, but also they've lived really hard lives. Um, and a lot of the folks here are here because they've experienced some kind of trauma in their lives. The city's first ever homeless services coordinator, Brian Sampson, says that it offers medical services, therapy, and support to help those people get into more permanent housing. This was always just a temporary option, and we continue to work, you know, as a city, as a community, um, with all the community partners. It offers people like Kevin a home and an opportunity to get back on their feet. Earlier this year, when the homeless population lived at Cameron Park, there were 152 calls for service over the span of two months. Recently, News 8 Now did a public records request for calls for service at the Econa Lodge between November 17th and December 9th. During that time, there were 80 calls for service. Homeless Services Coordinator Brian Sampson tells me that though there has been a police presence at the Econa Lodge, none of the issues have been major. All right, thanks a lot, Emily. The Econa Lodge is only providing housing to members of the homeless population. As of right now, that contract runs through March 31st.